And what's the motherfucking deal, YouTube? It's your boy Dante. Uh, I am Dante 4BG. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video, man. Uh, first of all, I want to give a special shout out to my boo. Uh, my baby, uh, Shauna, give a special shout out to my best friend, Ash, Nicole Nelson. Give a special shout out to everybody that support my channel, man. Like I say, my uncle Mark, my aunt Brandy, shout out to y'all. Love y'all guys. Shout out to, um, uh, my team, 4BG, uh, family members, shout out to y'all. Shout out to my boy, Roof, Roofless Sports, and my boy, uh, and, uh, Reed, and, Stephen Rose, shout out to you, shout out to you, Stephen Rose, Ruth, Ruthless Sports, and my boy Stephen Rose, shout out to y'all. So this is gonna be a good a video. This today video, the topic right now is my boy Shagrick Banks right now. Uh, like I say, when he texted me the other day, and I was just congratulating him, let him know how much I appreciate him, man, for going uh to North Shore and coming out being successful. If y'all don't know Shagrick Banks, man. Like I say, y'all go check him out on on his YouTube huddle, and he's the receiver number nineteen that played for North Shore. That have helped North Shore win two straight uh uh state titles. Uh, he was a part of the team this year. They uh went to they went to uh they played they lost to uh uh Austin Westlake. Uh, they lost to him. They lost to them. So he just fell short of a third straight uh state championship. But this guy, like I said. He has an unbelievable path to uh from North Shore uh to uh you know AM. He plays at AM. He's on a practice field putting in work, man. But like I say, before uh he got to North Shore, before he got uh to AM, like I say, he started off in Little League. He started off with the Northeast Side Cougars, you know, the team that I coach. I coach uh Shagrack. His varsity year, uh, pretty much throughout his whole career, uh, his whole little league career, he, he, he was uh, seven years old, came all the way up to it, was 12 years old. He won every, every Super Bowl from seven years old all the way up to 12, and that is hard to do. The guy's a winner. Uh, he wins everywhere he goes, and I wouldn't be surprised, you know, sometime and they'll win the uh, national championship, and he's uh, a big part of that team. He's a big has a big role on that team. One thing he know he knows about him, he's very passionate about the game. Uh, he's smart. Uh, he can play every position on that field. Every position on that field. Every single day, man. Like I say, see him. Uh, he's the best player on the field, especially in the little league. But like I say, little league was he was a whole different story. Every teams literally in the league will scatter this guy. He played quarterback. He terrorized teams. Whether if it was offense, defense, jumping over people, and he did all that in high school. The guy's just a big, big, strong hands, fast, physical. Uh, it was a play at uh against uh what that what that uh school call uh Laporte. When I seen him just catch a as a, as a basically like a screen pass, I seen him catch a screen pass, and I just seen him all of a sudden stiff on the the defender straight to the ground. Um, then uh. Last year, I believe last, I mean uh, this year, this year when they played against Manville, he caught two touchdowns in that game. Uh, but the the play, the play that that meant the, the most to me is when he jumped over this number two when he jumped dead over him hurdled. He did that straight. I remember when he did that in uh, like I say in little league when uh me and uh, I was his varsity coach at that time. That was the only time I moved up to varsity. Thank you so much, Coach Brian. Um. He, we was playing against the Lions, and he did a quarterback sneak right up the middle, and all of a sudden there was a safety coming up. Safety, uh, him and a safety, him and a safety. Shadrat just jumped straight over him and hurt on him. And like I say, when like I say, Shadrat is was a beast, man. Everywhere he went, he won. He won. He won. He's a winner. Uh, he's six foot, two hundred and ten pounds. Uh, uh, he's going to and he he's at and up right now practicing balling out, and I told him I was texting the other day, and I told him, man, like I said, I'm going to do a video on you because, like I say, at first, Shadrach had a bad attitude, man. Got to the point where he didn't want to listen growing up. Uh, whoever saved Shadrach, man, pretty, we thank you so much for it, man, because Shadrach's attitude almost got him in trouble, almost got him out of the game of football, and the guy is focused. He is locked in, man, and I'm so proud of this dude, man. This dude stepped up a long way. 
And like I say, his background is very, very good, man. Very, very good, intelligent person, man. Smart, man. Like I say, big, strong, can high point the football, got some good hands. Uh, he can do it however, give you however you want it, man. Run over, hurdle over you, shake it, bake you, stiff arm, stiff arm you, do it all, man. I say Shaq Rat just made things look so easy on the field. You think it was easy for him at North Shore so far? North Shore, Little League, was, he was a different person. I mean, I say, you had guys literally not wanting to play him. You had, you had us getting, I say, down near. Uh, the coach bragging about him and not wanting to play us in the Super Bowl because of this guy. This guy was like a cheat code. And he also helped North Shore win two state titles. He was a, a big part of that too as well, like I say. Uh, the one year he got hurt, he had a broken foot. They, that's how it showed you how talented North Shore was because, like I say, hey, they still won. But, like I say, against Duncanville, he caught a long pass. For a touchdown. And pretty much the game winning touchdown. He has something to do with that. That Hail Mary. Something to do with that. You can see him go up and hot point the football. And literally put it in AJ's hands. I know AJ as well. AJ Arnold. I know him as well. He used to play for me too. Play for us too. The Northeast Cougars. You can see Shadrack go up and hot point the football. And just give it. And just give it straight to AJ. And AJ is able to come down with the football. And how about the the game before the game before the game before that against uh Katie, he had three touchdowns in the pretty much in the first half. He had three touchdowns. The first play, the first uh pretty much the first the third play of the game. Uh the first play of the game, I believe, after the kickoff return by AJ, uh Demetrius Davis finds him right over the middle. It was a pretty much Shara had to turn around and, and adjust to get the ball and he runs for a touchdown. The second touchdown he scores. Uh, Demetrius Davis puts it right on the money. He's he, he's running in stride. Touchdown. Then another play. He catches a screen. I believe he catches a straight screen. Another another stop goes and he stops. He catches another screen pass. He takes it all the way in for a touchdown. Man, like I say, man, Shadrack is so electric. He's so he's 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 good, man. This guy is a good player, man. Shadrack. Is a great player, and I will see. I told him on Sun, told him, man, I we will see you play on Sundays, man. And but like I say again, if y'all don't know this guy, go check him on YouTube. Check him on Huddle. Some of you guys in my family, clan family, know this guy. I coached him, you know, from seven uh, year old on up to 12, 12 years old, man. The guy's a beast, man. And like I say again, uh, against uh. Manville, this year he had two touchdowns. He had basically two touchdowns. Uh, every game this year he had pretty much had a touchdown. He had a touchdown catch. He had a touchdown catch. They also put him in some situations where he can run the football out of the backfield. Uh, like I say, the guy attitude used to be a terrible attitude, but the guy straight up, okay. Like I say, again, six foot, 210 pounds, again. Um, his offers, he had 31, I believe he had 31 offers. His offers was Alabama, uh, Arkansas, Baylor, Florida, Florida State, Georgia, Houston, Kansas, LSU, uh, Memphis, Miami, Michigan, Oklahoma, Oregon, Penn State, Tennessee, Texas, Tulsa, and USC. USC. He should. He could have been to all those schools, but he chose Texas A and M. He chose Texas A and M. Man, like I say, um, let me go to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to his rankings, and like I say, we are gonna get up out of here, man. Shad Red Banks, man. Uh, I love you, bro. I appreciate you for all you have done, man. Like I say, for us, uh, man. Like I say, man. Shad Red Banks is is definitely one of the goodest guys, man. One of the goodest guys that ever. Like I say. That uh came came out of the uh northeast northeast of Texas, man. Like I said, Shagrick was very good, man. Very good player, man. Great player. And I will see him play on Sundays, man. I say Shagrick, uh like I say, keep putting that work in, keep putting that time in, and like I say, man, this guy that came a long way uh from uh the rankings, man. Shagrick was uh definitely definitely a beast, man, of a player. In um on the field, he was a he was telling he was the best player every single day, man. Every single day you stepped out on the field, you knew he was gonna bring it. You knew Shadrack was gonna bring it. 
like I said, Sherrod was like I say one of the I say one of the best one one of the best few guys that was out there, man. One of the best few guys that was out there. Shagre definitely made everything happen, man. He definitely, he definitely put it out, put us on the map, put us on the map. And it's good to see somebody come from seven years old that played for our, our, our little league organization to come all the way up like this and just, you know, and, and be successful, man. Like I say, that shows you, man. It's not, never too late, man. The guy came with a bad attitude. I mean, he used to come on the field uh, with his homework. And, you know, and be a distraction. And, like I say, man, the guy, the guy is good, man. And his national uh, average is 94. He's a four-star recruit. The guy, Sharrett, is a four-star recruit. Four-star recruit. That's damn near a five-star recruit, man. Can't make this up, man. The guy was a beast, man. Like I said, uh, uh, he, he won two state titles. Everywhere he went, he, he won. Literally one straight one five straight champ five straight Super Bowls. High school. He wins two straight state titles. Him and the quarterback has a lot to do with that, but Sharrett is a big piece of the puzzle. He's a big piece of the puzzle, man. But like he's a big piece of that puzzle. And I definitely think Sharrett, man. This is uh like I say, an inspiring video uh about my boy Shagrit Banks, man. If y'all if y'all think I'm lying, y'all uh Go look at his YouTube huddle. Look at his highlights. And like I say, you'll find out, man. Big, strong hands can return kicks. Uh, Like I say, can catch the ball. Give it to you however you want it, man. Like I say, you can get a stiff arm. You can get a uh, you can get a hurdle. You can get embarrassed by him catching over you with one hand, both hands. I mean, like I say, he can run past you. He has the speed. He used to run track. And the man was one of the top track runners out here, too. So, man, like I say, man, got physical, can run you over. He can do it all. Shadrach can do it all. We, we just so happy for him. I'm just so happy for him. And this video was about him, man. Like I say, from how he used to have the bad attitude and how, like I say, he used to did not want to listen to anybody. And, but someone woke the guy up. Someone woke him up. And someone brought the dragon up out of him. And I think whoever did that, I thank him for that. Because, like I say, Sharrett talented, was too good to be wasted. And he realized that, and he, he got right, man. Sharrett is focused. He's he's ready, man. He's going to play on Sundays. I'm telling you, I told him that straight up. He's going to play on Sundays. But, like I say, that's the end of the video, man. Comment, like, and subscribe on this video, man. Like I say, man, if you got a bad attitude, you out there, man. Sharrett is a prime example, man. Now I say he, he somebody took him up under his wing and he worked, man. He worked. He worked his ass off to get where he at and he definitely deserved it. His game, sometimes guys, your attitude can be your downfall. And his attitude was gonna pretty much be his downfall until somebody just grabbed him, took him under under their wing and just woke him up and now his talent showing on the field. Not getting into any trouble. He's out there focusing and working out, man, at Texas AM. And like I say, I'm proud of him, man. But that's the end of the video, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe on this video, man. And you got you got young guys out there, man. Don't let your attitude uh, bring you down, man. Don't let your attitude bring you down, man. Y'all just keep out there working. Is someone telling you something right? Listen, man. They're not yelling at you or embarrassing you uh, because they're wrong. They're doing it because they care about you and they see potential in you. They see the potential in you. And Shadrach, like I say, had a lot, has a lot of potential, and he has NFL. He has he has the uh he has the skills and the talent to play on Sundays, and I believe he I'm gonna see Shadrach Banks play on Sundays, man. But comment, like, and subscribe on this video, guys. Let me know what y'all guys think of the story of Shadrach Banks, man. Uh, thank you, guys. I am out. Much love. Peace.